Hey, you know what I was thinking? Let me take a good guess. You're hungry. Well, yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Aren't you always? I'm kind of thinking, let's do something nice and light. It's hot out. Spring rolls? It sounds delicious. Yeah, it does. Hey guys, welcome to SV Basic Cooking on Board. There is nothing better on a hot summer day than to make Vietnamese spring rolls. This takes me back to my childhood memories. The combination of vermicelli noodles, crisp fresh vegetables, the pork, the shrimp, all wrapped up in a tight little rice paper wrapper and dipped in a spicy peanut sauce. So I'm gonna stop now because actually I'm my mouth is watering and I'm gonna show you how I make Vietnamese spring rolls. So the first thing I like to do is to prepare the meat and the noodles. This gives them an opportunity to chill in the fridge. Because the pork takes the longest to chill, I'm gonna start on that first. And all I do is do a little salt and pepper, garlic and onion powder mixture, toss that around before I put it into the pressure cooker. The pressure cooker only takes about 15 minutes under pressure and then I turn off the heat and let it just relax. The next step is the shrimp. I'm going to bring some salted water up to a boil, toss in the shrimp with their shells and tails on and cook that for about three to five minutes. Once that's done, I will pull it out, chill it in the fridge before I split it and devein them. So now that the shrimp has been completed, I'm going to start on my bourbon chili noodles, which is really just water, boiling water, no salt, bring it to a boil, cook it for about three to five minutes, and rinse it in cold water. It's really important to rinse it in cold water so that the noodles don't stick to each other when you're preparing this dish. So I like the greens. Greens look so pretty in a meal. And I'm, all I'm using is cilantro, chives, lettuce, and cucumber for that crunch. So now that everything has been chilled, I'm going to slice the shrimp and slice up the pork. All right, so before we start wrapping, I'm gonna make my dipping sauce. It just consists of poison sauce, peanut butter, a little sugar, garlic, and since I like it spicy, I'm gonna add a little chili garlic sauce. I think my sauce is done. Oh, that smells delicious. Doesn't it? Spicy, sweet, peanut buttery. Is that a word? It is now. So now the fun begins, and I like to involve the family. So let's get wrapping. Yep, let's do this.
I think I've tortured myself enough. These are all done. And I just wanted to take a moment before I dive in and say thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next Monday. Until then, you're gonna have to watch me eat.